This internet video is sponsored by Squarespace. Scotland, the land of Loch Ness. Monsters, cools, mountains. A land where the scenery is off its tats. Where the whisky is so strong, it'll knock you onto your batty crease. And if you don't drink iron brew, then you're off. Ball back. But if you're coming, then please don't leave your shite on the side of the road. Hey, is that someone's job, eh? Or Captain B will chop you in the bollocks. What is happening, guys? We are Craig and Amy, and you are watching King in It. And this is our North Coast 500 adventure. If you're brand new to our channel, here's a little rundown on what King in It is all about. Challenges are what we love the most. Whether it's driving a camouflage Fiat Panda from the UK to Russia, or buzzing the length of India in a cake tin on wheels. If there's an element of it can't be done, then we're in. One of the biggest challenges we ever took on was a rusty yellow bus called Custard. We spent over a year building her out from a 24-seater minibus to a tiny home on wheels. The whole time we were building her, we were dreaming of our first adventure to the infamous North Coast 500 in Scotland. As soon as the bus conversion was complete, we headed to Scotland for what we thought would be a relaxing, spiritual awakening, where we would find ourselves and experience full-time van life whilst relaxing our bodies and our minds. A holiday, if you will. What do you get when you have one green monster machine, five mates, three pop-up tents, and 500 miles of Scottish Highlands? Hey, well, a little something like this. Pipes just burst. <laughs> ah! We've broken down. Morning. Oh. <laughs> Fire! Don't mind me. I'm just touring the NC500. What are we having for dinner, babes? Salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this always happen to us? This is pretty cool. Do these make us official motorhome wankers? Yes. Pretty so, yeah. <laughs> Riverside, motherfucker. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of tea or a whiskey for the most beautiful, jam packed Scotland adventure. Back on the road, mate. We made our way up north after a quick food shop. Hungry, you love? Starving. <laughs> we made it to Scotland! <laughs> there's a sign. Oh, look, Amy missed it. And on cue, there's the rain. We saw our first lock and we were already in love. Wow. We drove into the night and as it got dark, we didn't know what our view would be in the morning. I also got to have my first ever hot shower in the bus, which was sensational. This is the start of the uh, 80s porn channel. <laughs> Tune in uh, King and It Only fans for the rest of the video. <laughs> Tell you what, the luxury of having hot water is next level. Oh, so hot, it's amazing. Welcome to Scotland. Slounger. Slounger. <laughs> Today we are making our way up to Inverness, which is the start of the NC500. We're yes. meeting three of our most beautiful friends ever, and we cannot wait. Look at the day, Craig. I what just, a belter. I can't believe we've got such a beautiful weather. I was like, he went out for a run this morning. I was like, do I need thermal, th thermal joggers? Do I need thermal top? He was like, no, none of it. But I'm just buzzing. Get on the road, shall we? Let's go, Craig. Just, I'm ready for it. <laughs> All aboard.
we've been driving for about an hour we're starving so we've pulled over in a little car park we're so happy yeah to be on the road we're just buzzing to like just be away and be free and like take in the sights be able to just cook and spend time with each other because the last year has just been full on hasn't it and now we can just enjoy what, what do they say enjoy the fruits of your labor fruits of your labor definitely and that's our favorite our road trips are oh, our favorite you just can't beat them you can go wherever you want decide to stay longer or leave soon ah oh, it's just so good i love it it's brilliant especially because you know we've got a bathroom and a shower and a bloody kitchen and it's like everything, an Airbnb. everything you need you've got here yeah under it, this one roof we're still trying to figure it out because obviously this is only day two so we're like trying to figure out where stuff goes and there's constantly stuff everywhere yeah like um, oranges in the sink that we didn't eat for <laughs> breakfast <laughs> but we'll work it out we'll work it out we'll be fine we haven't actually hit the nt500 yet however it's very busy there's a lot of camper vans around there's a lot of traffic and um, we were going through some winding roads so craig has to be really careful because Custard's a piece. She's a size, you know, she's big. Somehow, the guys have turned up. Yay, love! <laughs> Meet Lena, Sam and Ollie. Lena is my cancer friend. And yes, the pair of us are complete cancer survivor legends. Sam and Ollie were both in our Mongol rally convoy. Did we mention we did the Mongol rally? This is Ollie. And this is Sam. These guys have taken two whole weeks off to explore the highlands with us. Quick stop at a campsite before we move on with the guys. We've got to do our grey water tank, we've got to empty that. We've also got to fill up with some water, which our Craig's doing now with our little hose. And somebody has got to empty the toilet. And it ain't gonna be me. So this is the absolute state of our boot. No room to even put a water hose in the tank. You can't even see the tank. Perfect setup, though. Well, Harry and Marvy here, that's all that matters, really. That's a spare diesel uh, tank, just in case we run out of fuel. Because our fuel gauge still doesn't work. It costs too much money and we didn't have enough time to actually get it done. So uh, pray for us lads, fingers crossed. We'll keep topping her up as we go. It's just the worst I'm just gonna leave the you there, cause uh... <laughs> It's the bloody Loch Ness Monster. We're at a campsite just outside Inverness. Got the rice cooker going. <laughs> I mean, some say this is a bit OTT. Who but... brings a rice cooker? Like, technically, we're camping, like. <laughs> well, no, we live in an Airbnb, so what? It's not complete without a rice cooker, is okay, it? Okay, no, cool. We've actually just built for the first time ever our King in It fire pit, and we've lit it. It's cool, isn't it? It's really cool. Go show them. Yes. So this is the setup for the evening. Evening lads. Oh, Table lads. service. First dish of the day, you want sweet potato curry. Oh, yeah. oh mate. <laughs> we mentioned at the start that this video is sponsored by squarespace so what is squarespace i'm not sure if you know but we've actually got the most immaculate website that we built ourselves we're no computer whiz kids and we can't write code but squarespace makes it super easy to make a stunning website even if you're not a rocket scientist the best part is it allows us to host our podcast send out newsletters and even sell our merchandise which um not wearing right now but you can get it on our website this is our motivational speech to you lads now's the time this is the most perfect opportunity to start that photography website build that blog basically start up a business and pair it with a sick website look like a total pro even if you haven't got a clue what you're doing like us so head to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready no pressure when you're ready to take that plunge head to squarespace.com forward slash king in it for 10% off your brand new swanky website. You are welcome, lads. North Coast 500 for me! We were officially on the NC 500. We decided to do it anti-clockwise and driving through the country lanes over the bridges, the sun was poking his little head out. It was a great day to be alive. Over to Sam for some facts. Where are we then, Sam? Come on. So we're at the uh, Talbot Ness Lighthouse, as you can see over there. Um, it was established in 1830. Um, it is a 
approximately 53 meters above sea level, uh, not below. Uh, its nominal range is 24 nautical miles, which is pretty far. Um, and that's all I've got. <laughs> Did you just make all that up? No, it's on the board, don't look. My one and only main mission on this trip is to meet and fully snog a Helan Koo, which is one of the cows. <laughs> One of the Highlands cows, which look incredible. But for now, uh, for today, we'll just deal with the lighthouse. Ollie's suggestion, we're going to have a skimming competition. Whoever loses has to jump in. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Well, <laughs> inevitably it was mine, but I have a feeling that as the one who suggested it, I'm going to be the one who's been going to be going in. To so go it's going to happen. It's going to happen. No testers, just straight in with it. Do as well. This could be a joint thing. I know. What do we do now then? Right, next competition, because that one didn't work, is who can hit that rock and the furthest away loses. Oh, he just skimmed it, but that was really close. Oh, you did it. Oh, Sam was closer, I've got to say. Oh, he's a lefty. <laughs> um, okay. Can't throw. We have a winner. <laughs> Here he goes, lads. The loser of the competition. Swim with the view. Glad I didn't lose that one. <laughs> so I was just like half napping in the bus with the heating on, it was glorious. Oh my God, look at this beach. We're in a place called Doorknock Beach and the guys have just rang me saying, quick, get out here, there's dolphins. The sun's come out, it's just glorious. Scotland, you beauty. Gone. Did, yeah. Oh no! <sighs> Missed it. Where are we heading? We found the place on park for night, but it's uh, it's on a golf course. <laughs> Is it legal? So that's the ninth hole by there. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's on park for night. There's loads of reviews of people saying yeah, it's fine. It's a good little spot. And it's next to a sewage plant. Only it's all right if the wind's right. <laughs> Do you think this is all right? There's people looking at us weird, like there's nobody here. Just a couple so... of miserable old people who just go up at everything, we'll be fine. Mind your own business, Karen, we'll sleep where we want, love. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't troll us, we do stick by the Scottish Highland rules, all the rules of wild camping. Thank you very much. If you do like an L-shape for Sam's car, put the... Are you literally so. talking as if we can try and disguise this to look <laughs> next to no. to blend in with the bush? No, is that what you're saying? Is that, is that what you're saying? No, can no we blending. just please, no blending. For, oh, for size reference, you want to just tuck it and then hope nobody recognises us? Camouflage wrap, that's what it is, isn't it? Fresh out the oven, just, just made a pizza. Just made a pizza and custard. How good is that? <laughs> Buzzing. Heating's on. Give me, give me. Just had a hot shower. It's just lovely. Live in the dream kit. Pop a little go. candle on now, and that's you. Well, put the projector on, get a little set up, have a little gin. I'll be lush. Live in the dream. Live in the dream. Oh, oh this looks sick. Oh, you're on well, baby. We finished the day with some kumbayas and some gins around the campfire. Utter bliss. Morning lads and welcome to another beautiful day in Bonnie, Scotland. Oh the swally we had last night, boys we were mad we yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking we had like one gin and tonic each and then we were in bed by 10. <laughs> Some holiday this is. So today we've made it to Dunrobin Castle. It looks stunning, um, the guys have already gone in because we left our masks in the car. Oh, we, we're not used to it, are we? Because obviously in Wales you don't have to wear masks everywhere, but yeah. bring your masks to Scotland. Yeah. We're being responsible, we're looking out for the Scots. Yeah. You know? 
We haven't, we've barely seen anybody though. We haven't seen, the only locals we've seen is at the petrol station, that was it. Yeah, but this castle is like a true life fairy tale, fairy princess castle. Um, and the grounds around it are just stunning. So the guys, stunning. the guys at the Falcon show, obviously we left our masks, so we're missing it all. So should we have it? a little awkward today, babes. <laughs> Check out my Instagram. Mate, look at this for a garden. They must pay him a lot. The gardener. Would you get a job here as a gardener? No, not at all. It would be burnt <laughs> down. <laughs> Get in there just for size. Look at the size of these leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so Amy's telling me she's found this. She knows of a secret spot. She got an insider tip. So she like follow me, like a creepy no, little per <laughs> like a creepy little pervert. This will take you right to the best view you've ever seen. Life was gonna be this way. <laughs> Three, two, one, jump. Hi, Andrew. In your best three describing words, please, could you let me know how it feels on your palate? For wine tasting. <laughs> it's like metallic orange. I reckon it tastes like a melted, like, clipper. Yeah? Yeah. Like a melted one. Calippo? Yeah. You know? That's a good shot. When it's like been in the sun a bit long. Scotland is the only country where uh, Coke isn't the most popular drink. It's iron brew. It's iron brew, yeah. <laughs> Do these make us official motorhome wankers? Yes. Great, well, so, yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. What drink are you doing? Hey, look at this. Oh, is it? Oh, level oh. <laughs> Spot on, mate. Level. Two dreams tonight, kid. We've got the full squad in the van. Captain B is on the chefing. What are we having for dinner, babes? Salmonella. <laughs> with Thai red curry oh, nice. for everybody. After filling our bellies, we finished the day with a movie night in the bus. Got enough layers on there, kid. Yes, I do. We have to wrap up sincerely warm today because we're right on the edge of the coast. Come on, seven layers on. I, I have. Well, I walked into the shower this morning to go to the toilet, turned the shower on on myself. <laughs> so half of my clothes are wet anyway. <laughs> Ready for another full day's exploring, Craig? Of course. Yeah? Movie night last night was a storm. Yeah, it was class, even though I fell asleep like 10 minutes into the film. <laughs> All this travelling, Craig, just takes it out of you. <laughs> I'm just touring the NC 500. To John O'Groats. According to many folk, this is the most north, the, the northernmost point of Great Britain. However, with a quick Wikipedia, quick read, <laughs> however, with a quick Wikipedia, that just shoots that down completely because the next spot we head to is actually higher. So, um, two pound to park. I think the guys are going to get some fish and chips. Preston's parked up in a spot. John a groats, lad. John a groats. And of course, when you come to John O'Groats, you've got to take a picture next to the sign. Cheers. 
chip that he's for the lads and then we're going to go and eat it in custard because it's not a bit windy. That night we found another incredible wild camping spot but the next morning we were going to wake up to a van life drama. The pipes just burst, we got a water leak. Oh we just heard like a gush and I was like turn the water off, turn the water off. I literally was like it's so good that we got hot water You're and, then, loving was like, it. and <laughs> then literally just heard gushing water and we're like where's it coming from? So. It's not a big disaster, is it? Thank the Lord. It's not a major problem, no. I think just one of these pipes has come loose. Uh, so we just need to tighten that up. That could have been a disaster, though. If we had to do the rest of the trip without any hot showers or hot water for our dishes. Oh, loudy. <sighs> so the problem is it's all boxed in, so I'm going to have to get the drill out. And... Oh, is a man going on his tools? Get the tools out. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> After Mans got his tools out and fixed the water leak, we cracked on with the mission of the day. Whiskey tour! First things first. Your double side. I'm thinking like three. Three bottles for tonight. Do you think that'll be alright? Be alright, yeah. Three? Three? I'm excited to try some proper Scottish whiskey. I've never really tried anything decent before. It's only ever been like you know, your standard Jack Daniels, yeah. which is probably a swear word in here. <laughs> so this is Jen. She's our tour guide today, but she isn't the usual tour guide that you get when you come. Because of COVID, she's had to take on this new role. So thank you, Jen. You're doing a great job. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, I could. <laughs> Sniff on. Oh. <laughs> oh wow, it smells incredible. How cool is this? Jen showed us how whiskey is made, where they kept the goods, and we learned that you can even buy your own barrel. And now on to the best part the whiskey tasting. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Lena had a great time. That is glorious. The good, yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are right. But the boys, they were struggling. It's quite smooth, actually. There's ways to get like. Oh, you've drunk it. <laughs> I've drunk it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all, mate. Oh, it's not a shot, Sam. Oh, it's not. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Spicy. Oh, they're all being pussies oh. now. I have to have a bit of water in it. This is what like, really. yeah, like Jen was saying, it opens the whiskey up a bit. Yeah, that's what you'll do. She's trying husband. to make you feel yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to have takeaway whiskey because I'm designated driver. Probably shouldn't actually, should I? <laughs> that afternoon, we found a campsite at the top of a cliff in the famous surf spot called Thurso. Craig had been itching to use his surfboard and couldn't wait to get out in the waves. The sun was shining its little head off and the guys were able to get some hot showers and pitch their tents up for the night. It's kind of too warm in the van, so Amy's gonna stay and Craig's gonna go for a surf. And then when we get back, the guys are gonna cook for us tonight because we've been cooking for just a few nights. They've also been making stuff on their campfires, but they're gonna make us vegan fajitas. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Scuba Steve. So we started my dinner because you were gone. You were always supposed to be cooking. How was it? It was good, yeah. I'm just so unfit. It's the first time I've paddled for like seven months. Yeah. It was good fun. It's a great board. It's bloody pitch black. I know. Like. We <laughs> well, were worrying like mothers. Well, I was going to get out and then as I was getting out, like a really good set came in. So I was like catching a few more. I was just doing it on the shore. And so I mean, much I wasn't fun. that worried, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> Sam came like, in and said the right? Coast Guard were looking for me. I'm like, we're giving 20 more minutes. If they don't turn up, we're going to ring the Coast Guard. We're going to get the police involved. We're going to get an ambulance just in case. Naughty boy. Ah! <laughs> Next time on King in It. We learn how to throw some axes. Ah! 
discover Jurassic Park on the Isle of Skye. Recruit two new mates. We meet a pet sheep. Explore the incredible West Highlands. And Custard gets up to her old tricks. Why does this always happen to us? 